वी हैव ए बार विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू प्रेशर वी नो द यंग्स मॉडलर्स एंड पॉइजन रेशो ऑफ दैट बार वी नीड टू फाइंड द फ्रैक्शनल डिक्रीमेंट ऑफ इट्स वॉल्यूम रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कंप्रेसिबिलिटी बीटा एंड वाई एंड म्यू कंप्रेसिबिलिटी इज इनवर्स ऑफ बल्क मॉडलर्स एंड वी नीड टू शो दैट पॉइजन रेशियो म्यू कैन नॉट एक्सीड हाफ now they have not given the shape of the bar but let's take a one small section of the bar and for that section of the bar whatever is the fractional decrement that we can assume is the fractional decrement for the whole bar so what kind of uh, shape we can take so it's best to take a cubical shape so of the bar we are taking one small part that is a cubical shaped part so why that is useful we'll see so let's consider a cubic portion from the bar now it is subjected to the pressure p from everywhere so let's take it into three directions so px from this side py from top and pz from here now of course their magnitudes are same these are just indicators of from which direction we are talking about and of course px will be from here also py will be from the bottom also and pz will act from the front also back also but i am not drawing that i am only drawing these three now let's take one of the lengths of this cube so let's take this length so you can see that the change in length will be because of py and let's call that delta l1 so it will reduce right because the pressure is acting so this length will reduce by delta l1 due to py so we are talking about the change in this side of the cube due to all three pressures so first is due to this py so delta l1 due to py and it will reduce now due to px so you need to imagine that when you are compressing from left and right this cube so this length will increase and that increment will be due to lateral to this direction see in this direction we are compressing from left and right so this is the direction of our force so the increment is perpendicular to that and that incre increment let's call it delta d1 so delta d1 is due to px and it will help to increase the length similarly due to pz from the front and the back this length will again increase and let's call that delta d2 all three effects are independent of each other so now you can probably think yeah you can probably guess why we have taken delta l1 for this and delta d1 and delta d2 for this so delta l1 because this is a direct compressive strain and delta d1 and delta d2 because they are lateral strains for which we we'll, we are going to use poisson's ratio so we need to find fractional decrement of volume so let's write volume of this cube that is l cube so again delta v by v is equal to 3 delta l by l so what will be delta l by l so delta l will be summation of all these three so delta l will be delta l1 plus delta d1 plus delta d2 so let's divide everything by l and because it's a cube l is equal to d so l this side l this side d this side d this side so delta l1 by l delta l by l is p by minus p by y and delta d by d is minus mu times delta l by l so minus mu times this quantity which will become mu p y y similarly delta d2 by d so delta d2 by d is also mu delta l by l i mean minus mu delta l by l so minus mu times this again so mu p by y now you might be wondering this is delta l1 and how can we write the relation between delta l1 by l and delta d1 by d we can do that because pressures are same so due to py whatever is delta l1 by l due to px also that will be same delta l1 by l in this direction so magnitude wise that is same 
So that's why delta d by d in due to fx, we can write as mu times minus mu times delta l l1 by l, where delta l1 by l is due to that due to f y. So that's the advantage of taking a cubical shaped volume. So we write that and we need the value of delta L by L. So we put that here and we get delta V by V is equal to minus 3P 1 minus 2 mu, 2 mu by Y, which is our answer fractional decrement in volume. Now let's do the second part relationship between compressibility and Y and mu. So compressibility is beta. We need a relation between beta, Y and mu. Now compressibility is inverse of bulk modulus and what is bulk modulus p upon minus delta v by v y negative because as the if the pressure is acting on the volume the delta v will be negative and bulk modulus modulus is positive so we write minus delta v so now we already just derived this formula delta v by v is equal to minus 3p 1 minus 2 mu by y so we need, need the relation between beta y and mu so mu and y are already there we have delta v by v and p so let's replace that by b and b we can write as 1 by beta so that's how we will get the relation which will be our answer now third part they are asking that proofs show that mu must be less than half so if you see it if you see this equation so this is a volumetric strain so if the pressure is uh, positive then delta v must be negative so if this quantity is negative, this quantity should also be negative, which means negative of 1 minus 2 mu should be less than 0 because P is positive and 3 is also positive and Y is also positive. So since on increasing pressure, delta V must be negative. So therefore, this quantity must be less than 0 or 2 mu, must, 2 mu less than 1 or mu less than half. Hence proved. All right.